Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? It's your boy Fusion. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the top weapons we're using right now. And these weapons have recently been buffed and we're going to take a look at them. So let's go. So the first weapon that I wanted to kind of talk about is the M4. Now, all of these weapons I'm going to be showing recently, uh, they've all been buffed recently. So if you want to go ahead, try them, please do. Uh, because honestly... They're pretty good. Um, they've been obviously buffed so they can compete. And the M4 has been pretty good for me. It's been pretty solid and it's been good fun to use. Obviously, all the Vanguard weapons have basically taken over uh, the scene. But, you know, some of the Modern Warfare weapons, they're starting to come back. And the Cold War weapons as well, which is quite exciting. And so we're going to be able to use these weapons again. So first off, we got the M4 we got the monolith expressor we got the stock m16 grenadier we got the vlk the commander foregrip and also the 60 rounds so the next weapon we're going to have a look at is the amax again recently got buffed and i'm just glad that some of these weapons are coming back uh the amax uh i've not used uh actually recently um i've not used it uh since it was buffed but i've seen gameplay of it and it seems to be killing pretty good so uh you know for the amax it's just a standard build. We've got the Monolith Expressor, the Zodiac Barrel, also the VLK, the Commander Foregrip, and also the 45 rounds. Now, one weapon that I'm very glad is back in, like, the... I wouldn't say meta, but, you know, in the kind of competing stage is the EM2. The EM2 was meta for a very long time during the Cold War kind of stage, and the EM2 is back. Uh, it has been buffed. I'm pretty sure the damage uh, was buffed and also the range or something like that which is pretty damn sweet the only issue with the em2 is that not everyone's going to be able to handle the recoil um it is pretty significant that's the only issue with the em2 but if you can handle the recoil it's a solid gun it kills quick and honestly in my opinion it's kind of it's a fun gun that's how i see it i love using the em2 it's definitely a challenge uh but it's a good weapon to use and once you get used to it it's it's always going to do good for you so we have an agency suppressor we've got the task force we have the axial arms three times the field agent grip and also the 40 rounds now yeah you could go with the 50 rounds if you wanted uh that's completely your choice but the reason that i opt for the 40 is simply because it's going to give us a bit of a, a bit faster ads time and if you don't want the axial arms, you don't have to. If you want to go with a Raider stock or something like that, uh, this will help you with your kind of movement speed. But also, if you're trying to bunny hop and stuff like that, the Raider stock will help out with that. Uh, but personally, I am a fan of the the three times on the EM2. So pick your poison, whatever works for you, then go for it. But this is what I would recommend. After that, we do have the QBZ. Uh, I've not used this weapon again just in a little bit of time, but the QBC has been buffed. Uh, so it's definitely worth, you know, trying to use it. And again, for most of these builds, it's very standard. It's, it's a standard build that you would basically use for basically any gun uh, in terms of Modern Warfare, Cold War, etc. Um, so again, for the QBC, Agency Suppressor, we got the Task Force. We also have the Axial Arms three times, the Field Agent Grip, and also the 45 rounds. Now, again, yeah, you could go with the 60 round drum if you wanted to. I, I usually opt for the smaller size mag just because of the ADS. ADS time really helps out, and that's kind of why I've gone for that. And the last weapon that I would really suggest trying is the FFAR. The FFAR got a buff. Um, I can't exactly remember what it was. I know it was the ADS time, I'm pretty sure, got uh, buffed. It's a little bit quicker. Uh, and on top of that, I think maybe the uh, the range or the damage uh, has been buffed. Now, this is more catered towards a kind of SMG build. If you, I'll, What I'll do is I'll make two kind of um, builds for you. So we'll have an AR build and also in the sub a submachine gun one. Uh, this is what I would use for the submachine gun. So this is probably what I would use for the SMG build. So we got the agency suppressor, we got the ranger barrel. We also have the raider stock, the serpent wrap, and also the 38 rounds. Now, bearing in mind, you are going to run out of ammo fairly quick. Again, yes, it's only the 38 rounds, so it's going to go pretty quick. But the good thing is this will... You know, it, it will have a fast ADS time and you'll be able to bunny hop all of that good stuff if you want to do all that. Uh, if you're a proper sweat, then you can do that with this build. 
But if you're going to go with like an assault rifle build, here's what I would recommend. First off, we're going to switch the barrel to the task force. Or you could go with a takedown if you wanted. Um, but I'm going to go with a task force. I'd probably get rid of the Raider stock. I'm actually going to keep the Serpent Rep. And we're going to put on the Field Agent Grip. It's going to help you out with the vertical and also the horizontal recoil control. So, I would go with that. And this is roughly what I would probably go with. Don't really need an optic. The iron sights, you know, look clean anyway. I would also actually go with the 50 rounds if you're going to do an AR uh, style build. And then the Serpent Wrap as well. And that's the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe and put the post notifications on. Uh, if you want to follow my TikTok as well, I'm doing videos on there quite often. Uh, trying to do a bit of content on there. Please do. All of the socials and all of that good stuff is going to be in the description. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of that good stuff, then please do. Uh, also follow my Twitch. I'm trying to stream on there as much as I can. So please go follow that. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.